Good evening, everyone. Chrissy here, your Epicure consultant, and uh, welcome to my kitchen. I'm doing a new camera angle. I'm hoping you can see everything all right. It looks a little dark at the bottom of the screen. Let me, let me try this real quick. Hopefully you can see everything all right. Just looks a little dark to me. Okay, well, I am going to continue what I've been doing this week, and that is making um, meal packet um, meal packet solutions from or meal solution packets from um, our new line and our new catalog. And tonight I'm going to be making crispy and crunchy lettuce wraps along with some Thai coconut soup. Um, I don't know if the flavor profiles go with each other other than they're both Asian, but I wanted to try them both, so that's what I'm doing. So um, I'm just going to get right into it. So um, we to make the crispy and crunchy lettuce wraps, you need one of these. And what I've got here, I've got my multi-purpose steamer, which is the, um, I don't know, maybe the eighth wonder of the world. Um, it is 100% food grade silicone, FDA approved for use in the microwave, which is what we're going to do with it today, in your oven up to 450 degrees, and you can you can use it in the freezer, it's top dish uh, dishwasher rack washable, um, and um, you can, um, but I do recommend if you cook with it in the oven, um, you put it on a cookie sheet, um, because it's, um, it's a little wobbly, it's a little squishy, and you don't want to spill everything all over. And if your microwave is in, mine is very handy and it's, it's very direct here, but if your microwave is in an odd, uh, in an odd spot, um, make sure you, um, you can put a plate underneath this so it's a little bit easier to get in and out. So without further ado, um, in my multipurpose steamer, what I have is a pound of ground pork. And what I'm going to do... First, I'm going to open my packet with my Handy Dandy Prep Pro scissors, which I enjoy. You can get this in the catalog. All right, so, mm, wow, that smells really good. Uh, it's very gingery right off the bat. So what I'm going to do is um, I am going to, I'm going to put that right there for a second. Um, the directions say to get a, a tablespoon of water, so I'm going to use my Four and one spice spoon. It's got a tablespoon, teaspoon, half teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. There's a line. Oh, with that light there, you could probably see. Maybe you can see the line. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I'm not sure about this angle. It's an experiment today. So, in my one cup prep bowl, which there are measurements on the side here, and a handy dandy silicone lid, makes them stackable. I am going to put, I think you can see all this. Um, I've got some water here. So, a tablespoon of water goes in there. It doesn't say to do this in the directions, but I want to mix the liquids together first. And a teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay. And a teaspoon of soy sauce. I use tamari because um, uh, it's uh, gluten-free. They don't make it with wheat. So just, you know, a preference. So a teaspoon of that. This one also happens to be organic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mini whisk. I love this thing. It's new. It's one of our new products. I'm just going to mix all the liquids in there. I just want to. I just want to combine them, um, just so they disperse. Because I'm going to pour that in um, with the uh, with the with the pork in a second. So I've got my meat separator. It's also an avocado masher. It's very easy to clean. Um, so I'm gonna, gonna separate the pork. That's what it's used for. And then we're gonna put in the liquid here. I'm gonna spread it out there. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the seasoning and put that in there, like it says. And I'm going to mash that in there. Good. Make sure it all gets incorporated. I can see little bits of um, green onion in there. It looks really good. All right. So, and then the directions say to put in two diced red peppers, but I really, you know, don't care for red pepper that much. So I'm just going to put 
put one of them in there. This is one of our cutting mats, bendable. You can cut on there and just and slide it right in like I just did. So let me just mix this some more. Okay, so this is gonna go in the microwave and it's gonna go in there for a total of six minutes, but I'm gonna put it in there for three. And then um, I'm just gonna use my spoon to clean that off. I'm gonna get all the yummy pork in there. go and move some stuff out of the way keep that separate okay so this we're gonna put the lid on now you can see there's vents right here oh, let me show you what was in there first but show you a little bit better let's see who's who's joining us Becky hi Becky and John hey John um it's nice to see you guys on here. Okay, so when you put it on your lid and your steamer, you can see that there's vents right here. So you want to keep the vents in the front here, not along the handles, because you don't want to burn yourself when you take it out. It will be hot and steamy. Hi, Pearl. Okay, so here it goes into my microwave on high for three minutes. All right, so meanwhile, I have got my wok here. Let's see if you can see that. Let me angle this just a little bit. So I've got my wok here and I already put two cups of water in there. I brought it to a boil and um, I, don't know if I, I don't know if I like this angle. Um, I brought it to a boil just so I could make sure I kind of was ahead of the game for you guys. So cut this off now. So Thai coconut soup. All right, what I did ahead of time, just so I wouldn't have you on, on here all night, was I took my round steamer. This is a new a new uh, silicone product we have. Right now, it's, it's stuck on a ship in a port in northern Canada, um, but it will be available mid-February. Um, I had gotten one. It was a host special last year. I'm so glad I grabbed it. Um, you can put a whole chicken in here. You can put a whole chicken in the multi-purpose steamer as well. Um, this one, it just seems like it's a tiny bit like deeper, but it, it's supposed to be the same volume. So, and I haven't measured it. I'm going to do that with water one of these days. But um, same thing. Um, it's just a little, it's got a little bit more of a reinforced bottom, and it's got bigger handles, so it's a little bit easier to hold. It's really great for soups and stews because of the more stable um, uh, build to it. Let's see. Hi, Angela. Um, so anyhow, so ahead of time, what I did was the recipe called for some sweet potato cubed. So that's what I did. I cubed the sweet potato. I put it in the microwave for six minutes. So it's all nice and soft and that's going to go in the soup um, at the end. So this is already cooked up and, um, I love the steamers for prep. So you are, um, you're doing everything else. Meanwhile, you've got your potatoes, either white potatoes or, or sweet potatoes going and um, and then you either use them in the soup like I'm going to do or you mash them or you halfway cook them to do smashed potatoes in the oven like whatever you're doing it's such a time saver to just do those cut them up put them in the microwave and while they're going you are um, you're doing everything else you need to do so I'm going to set these aside for a second just want to let you know that's what I did um, and then of course you know you have your meat separator or potato masher here to mash them up, but that's what you're gonna do with them. So, okay, so let's see here. So it says in here, and all the, all, always, all the directions for any Epicure product is on the back of the package or the back of the jar or, or whatever the seasoning is. So you're never at a loss. And then of course there's way more recipes online. You just type in the uh, the seasoning you've got and, um, and a bunch of recipes show up for alternative things to do with it. So, um, you never have to have a boring meal when you're dealing with Epicure. And most of the time, you can find stuff laying around in your pantry that you can you can use up um, and, and use for these meals. So, okay, so I'm going to check on the pork. And it's very, it's very hot when it comes out. I, I feel like the, the camera is doing weird things. So here we go. I'm going to smash it up a little bit more. It is cooking along very well. It's 
going to go in there. For, that was three minutes. It's going to go in there for another three minutes. Let's see. Has anybody else joined us? No, not so far. Okay. All right. I'm going to get it nice and incorporated and nice and broken up so that it cooks evenly and there's no chunks that stay uncooked. Okay. Now, I haven't said it yet, but... Um, Epicure is 100% gluten-free, so those of you who have to avoid gluten, you don't have to worry. Um, there's a scientist in there, I see him once in a while, doing an update, and they, they test everything, uh, everything seven ways to Sunday, so no gluten in our stuff. Uh, Non-GMO, like 80%, 90% now, non-GMO. Most of our stuff is um, like probably like 80% vegan, so if you have a, a vegan, you can always um, have something available. A few things have cheese in them, so not vegan, but um, almost everything, except for the, the chicken broth, can be made vegetarian. So just so you know, and I think we're at about 80% kosher. I found that out because I have a kosher customer, so... I have something I learned. So, all right, another three minutes. All right, so, so we got the soup going. We got some, some hot water in the wok. I love our wok. Um, at this moment, it's not available. I think it also might be trapped along with the round steamers somewhere. Um, I managed to snag one uh, late last year. Um, I love it. I've never had a wok before, so um, I, I enjoy it. So let's see here. All right. Um, I have two cups of hot water in here, and what I'm going to add to that is a can of coconut milk. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut milk here. Ooh, it had some creamy stuff at the top there. And let's see what else did it say to do. I read this before, but you know. And then the seasoning goes in there as well. Alright. I'm just going to get a regular whisk and mix that up a little bit. Wow. Well, that smells good too. It's got, it's got, um, there's a smell in there that I can't place. It smells good though. Oh, it's like basil. Oh, yeah. Thai food has, has basil in it. Okay. So, I'm going to move the camera. Look, I keep on having to... Okay. There we go. All right. I keep on having to crane my neck to see you guys. Okay. So, here we go. Just mixing that in. I'm going to turn it back on. Because then we're going to... Let's see. It says to cover and bring to a boil. So, it won't take long because I already had it boiling... Before I went on um, so that um, we wouldn't take up a whole bunch of time. Let's see. So what we're going to put in here once it comes to a boil is we are going to put in some baby bok choy. And so I got one that wasn't chopped up just to show you what it looks like. It's not like your typical thing you buy from the store. So I just want to make sure you know what baby bok choy looks like. This is the miniature one. They, they, they grow real big. Um, so that goes in there. So I have two cups of bok choy. I've got a cup of um, sliced mushrooms. And let's see what else goes in here. Oh, okay. So the recipe calls for tofu, but I really don't like tofu. So what I did was to make it more hearty soup and have, you know, give it some protein. Um, I diced up some chicken breast and I put it in my rectangular steamer, just another one of our pieces comes in very handy. Somebody asked me today what you use it for. Well, if you have one of our banana breads, you can make it in here. Our meatloaf, which I'll be making a little bit later this week, you put right in the rectangular steamer and slice it in there. Um, you can make asparagus because it's long here and just steam it right up. Um, you can make a, um, like a frittata for two can fit in there, um, or like a Greek omelet or something like that, that can go in there. Um, those are just a few things you can use with the rectangular steamer. It's very handy. Um, you can use it to, to warm up lunch, um, for one person. So, okay. So the, so this is already cooked. I didn't want to, um, I, all I did was I put, uh, 
I, sh I shook some herbed uh, garlic uh, uh, with some grinder that we have. And I forgot to mention this the other day, but there is a, a dial in here where you can make it coarse, more coarse or more fine. And I know I demonstrated this the other day, but if you weren't here, you can take this off and it fits um, our other um, our dressing jars and some of our other seasonings. So if there's something like the poco picante, which is like red pepper flakes, stuff like that, um, if you wanted some spice, some heat, but not such a, a, um, a large size, you can just place one of these on there and get a fine, a finer grind on it. So really handy. Um, let's see. <laughs> Angela's wanting to know why the coconut milk she buys is more pasty looking. Um, you know, coconut, um, coconut milk, of course, if it's, you know, if it's a nice coconut milk that's, nothing's been added and it's just coconuts kind of like ground up. Um, they have, there's oils in them and, um, they tend to, um, and I, I did have a little chunk in there because at the slightest, um, decrease in, uh, temperature, um, it starts to, um, freeze, I guess. So, you know, um, so that's why, probably, um, or it has more of the cream in it, and so it's got more of the fat solids in it, so it's going to look um, a little bit more like that. I don't, you know, I don't know, different brands. Um, this was mostly liquid, but it did have a chunk at the top that was all the fat, so it's melted, though. It melts, like, with your with the heat of your hand, so um, it doesn't take much. So there we go. All right, so this has um, come to a simmer. I've already boiled it, so I'm not really worried about it coming out funny. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's see here. I am going to, um, what should I do? I guess I'll just put everything in there. So I'm going to grab, where's my saute spoon? Ugh, I love my kitchen tools. So here's our saute spoon. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the sweet potato in there. I could dump it in there, but it would splash everywhere. I don't want to make a mess. So we'll do it slowly. There we go. Okay. And then we'll dump the last bit in there. So there's that. And then we'll put in the mushrooms. And we'll put in the bok choy. I'm gonna stir it around. Let's see if I forgot it. I don't want to. For, I don't want to forget anything. Let's see here. So we've got the bok choy went in there. The mushrooms went in there. Sweet potatoes went in there. And okay. At the end, we'll we'll throw in a squeeze of lime, which always tastes great with Thai food. Um, so let me mix that around a little bit. We'll just. I mean, it's just until the. Um, the bok choy, it's a little crispy, but you, know, you don't want to, you don't want to cook the heck out of it. You just want it to be a little bit tender. And then I'm going to put the chicken in there so it gets nice and warm. And like I said, a much heartier soup when you add the chicken. All that good cooking liquid went right in there with it. That's, I, like I said, I just put some herbed sea salt on there. Um, Epicure is also extremely low in sodium, so everything needs salt. So, Pearl says, Thai coconut milk is nice. Oh, you mean the drink? Yeah, it has a lot of sugar in it, doesn't it? It's very tasty, though. Very tasty. Unless you're, unless I'm thinking of the tea, where they put coconut milk in it. That's really tasty and full of sugar. Okay, so there, that's really colorful. I think you can see it from there. I'll just tilt it in a little bit more. See how pretty that is? That's a really pretty soup. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get you back there. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid back on that, and then we're going to take a look at our wraps, and we're going to plate one of those up. Let me, um, let me get some stuff out of the way. Okay, so we've got our pork all done. Here we go. I'm gonna turn that up a little so it boils up. All right. Wow. Oh wow. Nice. Very nicely done. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit here. There we go. See how how juicy it is. 
It's very juicy. Nothing in the steamer ever comes out like, um, ever comes out like, uh, um, rubbery or anything like that. So, um, I'm going to get a plate. So the secret to these is you got your lettuce leaves. Let me turn this around again. I just cannot crane my neck. Okay. So you get, you have two lettuce leaves, kind of put them like that. So it kind of makes a stronger little bowl and then go ahead and put the filling in there. That looks so yummy. And, um, and then the directions say to use some sriracha or some hoisin. I hope I'm saying that right. What's Pearl saying? Oh, and Publix Thai coconut milk in a can. Oh, okay. About a buck fifty, she said. I've never seen it. Um, I never look, I never look for it there. Actually, this is a product for uh, Sri Lanka. So it's not from... Thailand. Okay, so I've got some hoisin sauce. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know, but that's what they recommended either that or sriracha. So I'm just gonna drizzle some of that on there. You can also make the um, if you want it. I just didn't want to combine the flavors before I tasted it the first time. But the chipotle aioli is one of my favorite things. You make it um, as an aioli, and um, that's always like a really good. Um, condiment for, for Asian food. So, okay, now I'm going to simmer that back. All right, so here's our wrap. You can see how beautiful it is. And it looks pretty much like the package. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that aside. I'll take a picture of it later. And we're going to plate some of our soup. What I'm going to do first is Cut, um, or I don't know where that knife went. This is our, our chef's knife, ceramic, rust proof. It's got a really comfortable handle on it. So cut, cut my, I have my two in one citrus press. Um, that's for the lime and that's for the lemon. And you put it in this way because the holes are here. So, whoop. <laughs> goes in this way. I did it wrong the first time, so sorry. All right, so we're going to, oops, cutting aside, and go ahead and put, squeeze some lemon juice in the soup, and grab my plate and my ladle, and wow, that looks Mm, it smells really good. It's that coconutty, really, really good. All right, so I'm going to get a nice bowl full here. Um, you can use some cilantro if you like. I just didn't have any, and I wasn't just going to run to the store. It, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I'll, and also maybe top it with some sriracha uh, if you want a little bit of heat. But there you go. So we have got Thai coconut soup and crispy and crunchy lettuce wraps. And that's the dinner for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. And um, thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen tonight. I will see you all later. Bye.